so where so where are we headed with the, this whole meaningful use thing which is of course the buzz here and sort of lurking in the background or other things that are kind of in your sweet spot the switch to 5010 uh, you know as far as the coding as far as the transactions that's really in your sweet spot and the switch to ICD 10 the, which is you know for coding that's on everybody's minds too but it's not talked about as much yeah I think that people are sort of taking one thing at a time mm -hmm. Most people did not move, you know, much the way government is not a very nimble creature. Mm -hmm. Most of these sort of larger hospital mm -hmm. systems that may not be for profit yeah. and have government as 50% of their revenue mm -hmm. are similarly mm -hmm. not that nimble. But know? even, so yeah, small position. Even yeah. if the CIO yeah. and the CEO all agreed, you know, instantly day yeah. one. Uh, on what they wanted to do, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a year to get people yeah. aligned unless yeah. you're almost out of cash. Well, right. What about small physician practices? They they might just not. Well, their they, their problem is is um, ignorance rather than that's what I was uh, thinking, lack yeah. of agility. So yeah. A almost seventy, I think seventy-seven percent of doctors have never heard of Athena Health, mm -hmm. uh, and so you know they yeah. don't. What is your? I mean, what what is your? The hospitals, okay. they don't think they can do right. Now, what, what is your uh, average client client like? I mean, size wise. Yeah, we have three makes, different markets. Okay. Here. Three yeah. different sales forces, three different support organizations. Mm -hmm. So if you look at those small practices, yeah. when they find out about us, the sales cycle is 35 days. Wow. The implementation is three months. And the compliance with meaningful use is almost instantaneous. Yeah. So, you know, the problem there isn't that they are not agile. The problem is that they just are busy seeing patients and don't know That's what I stuff. figured. On the flip side, the problem with the great huge hospitals is less that they don't know the options than that they are not agile. And they're not agile for lots of good reasons. You know, there's some bad reasons and they should probably be a little more agile than they are. But anyway, you know, these are community fiduciaries that mm -hmm. have to move in a very methodical way. So. Okay. Is there uh, a theme, a buzz you're picking up at HIMSS that, you know, suggests that Meaningful use is what's on everybody's mind, or that there there's some questions well, that are unanswered, I like or the little tidbits around the cloud, like EMC okay. says, have your own cloud. I'm like, no, I think clouds are for everyone. Clouds are for everyone. Are for yeah. Everyone. But they have your own cloud, and that's a classic kind of. Yeah. And, and so hymns, I've always watched the sort of denial of the internet. Yeah. Uh, slowly recede at each hymns meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, and the towers and the thrusters and the versions and yeah. the you know modules. That whole speak uh, is, you know, little by little by little by little starting to uh, wither mm -hmm. away, uh, just barely around the edges. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, I think that, you know, those, you know, that kind of speak will mostly go away, except with legacy systems, and most mm -hmm. people will be working on deals. CILs will be business people, not project managers yeah. or purchasers. And they'll be uh, doing deals around the exchange of information and verification, and et cetera. So there's going to be oh, there's going to be kind of a server rooms. And, okay. And Is there going to be kind wires? of a, a secondary market for the data exchange? Absolutely. That you, okay. I mean, it's secondary. It's primary market. You know, a patient needs to go here. Yeah. Needs to go there. Need to claim joint payment. You know, a bundled rate. So this yeah. guy and this guy and this guy were all part mm -hmm. of it. Now we need to get together and figure out how to break that up when we get our payment. Mm -hmm. No, that is managing information, mm -hmm. not managing boxes, yeah. and disks, and you know, projects to install stuff that's got no intelligence in mm -hmm. it. I mean, so the CIO's role is evolving. I it's think changing. it has to. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we we every once in a while run into a CIO who's like, who I'm like, oh my god, you'll be there. You'll be there in, in HIMSS, you know, 2111, mm -hmm. uh, or 2021. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and I won't uh, be there at right, 2111, no. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, most yeah. of them won't be there. Most of them don't mm -hmm. see this, and they really want to protect this kind mm -hmm. of hardware, software, purchasing empire. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a, a lot of what it yeah, is, too. Yeah, that's what they yeah. came up through. Why would that's they right. not? That's right, yeah. And of course, well, that's what healthcare seems to be all about, is turf battles. That's preventing health, preventing real reform. Well, and there's all kinds yeah. of reasons why, you know, stability and security and, you know, what is this cloud and how do I understand it and how do I know it won't break and, you know, if it does break, what, you know, what accountability do I have for who broke it? And, you know, there's a lot of uh, kind of relational thinking for the linear thinkers to do mm -hmm. before you can really feel comfortable with it. So, it's not like we're way, way, way behind other industries when you, I mean, we are obviously we way, are, way, way yeah. behind other industries. 
when you consider the information type that we're dealing mm -hmm. with, and the and the organizations that hold this information, these not for profit, largely not for profit, mm -hmm. but certainly commu for community benefit, mm -hmm. very conservative organizations that don't have a lot of power over ordering, mm -hmm. you know, even though they depend on it. Yeah. You can imagine uh, not being that nimble. You know, it, it makes sense that we would move at our mm -hmm. cautious pace. Okay. So, what if you were the grand poobah of healthcare? What would you change? I would end all grand poobahs. Okay. And have them be a more diverse market. <laughs> okay. The big problem I have with, mm -hmm. I mean, what's amazing, Hims is the ultimate case study in 100 channels and nothing's on. Um, the biodiversity uh, around automation of doctor work, et cetera, is incredibly poor. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very narrow, very small, you know, very uninteresting market out there. Has certification uh, taken some of the interest away? Yes, I think it put a box, a lid, a, mm -hmm. a seal on innovation and new mm -hmm. company formation, which I suppose is good for Athena because we were the first cloud-based company, the only, maybe one of two or three mm -hmm. cloud-based companies to get through the air, you know, the, the uh, airlock before they sealed it off. Mm -hmm. And now this big kind of boondoggle money game um, is going to run for five years and it's going to be very hard for a little uh, innovative cloud-based company to come into the space. And we're going to try in the course of this year to create an ecosystem that will allow those entrepreneurs mm -hmm. to get in yeah. to healthcare IT. Yeah, because you know, last even night... Even if they yeah. eat me alive, I yeah. just can't stand how few mm -hmm. interesting creators of yeah. content there are. Last night I met a couple of people from India and they actually are based in India. Who have a who got their product CC, CCHIT certified and now they're looking for a market. They built the product now they're looking. Send so, them to me. Okay. I'd love to. I don't need Athena yeah. Clinicals to be the only kind of clickware that our clients use. I'd be glad mm -hmm. to have somebody else's clinical record drive the orders through our pipes. Mhm. Mm okay. So as you here are here for your what is this your umpteenth hymns? They all kind of blend I together. I think I may have started in 11. This may be my 11. Okay, this would be my 10th. So, uh, yeah, just by a year, I think. Well, I think we both have boyish We both have birthdays next week, I believe. March. March. Wow. Yeah. We have so much. In common. We have so much in common. I did not know that. We're sitting here You're with. My brother from another place. That's right. Sitting here uh, in Orlando, you know, a couple of white guys in suits who would rather be someplace else. Actually, and, uh, I want to be here. You want to be I here? I want to see this. I want to prove to myself that it actually happened. Okay. And it's happening. What is it? The boat show. The boat show. Well, it is It is really a boat show. That's, you know, the reason why I try to stay away from the floor and why I find a lot more interesting things going on away from that boat show in there. Um, it's kind of hard to get a boat back home from here, I guess, but... Yeah. So I'm probably not going to be buying it, yeah. Do they deliver? Probably do. They bring it, you know, servers, they show up at trucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a thing I don't think of when I think of exchanging information. Yeah. Trucks. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Is that certain... They have trucks. I know they need them for there, things there like are, exchanging steel. Well, right. I, you know, bales is, of yeah. hay. Does that certain vendor that's no longer exhibiting have their semi-truck here again this year? Oh, did they do the... the I do respect that. The whole gorilla... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen it this year. do the gorilla truck outside? I haven't seen it yet this year. It's a but, brilliant idea. Yeah. So do you want to know my idea? Secret idea? Secret idea. Nobody's I, listening. I kind of Just between say. you and I. Well, in case, I think probably the cloud-based entrepreneurs yeah. are watching your blog, so I'm yeah. going to tell you. You guys. Okay. Next year. Yeah. Look into the, the camera. Cloud cab yeah. The cloud cavalry. The cloud cavalry? Vegas, we get a bunch of cowboys, horses. Anybody with a cloud-native company that does work for healthcare will be given the opportunity to have a horse with a flag with their company's name on it. And we'll have a chuck wagon that says, is your balance sheet surrounded? Call in the cloud cavalry. And we'll have some, yeah! yeah. We'll have some you know, guys yeah. riding yeah. the internet horses. And it would work perfectly in Las Vegas. Exactly. Yeah, that's Charge right down the main street. Yep. Hopefully it won't be the kind of cowboys who wear chaps with no pants. But maybe if it works. You know, I don't know. But you know, whatever it takes to attract customers. This is business. Yes. Business is okay. business. Okay. So, uh, one year from now at HIMSS 2012, we will see Jonathan Bush of Athena Health leading a cavalry on horses down the Las Vegas Strip. You heard it here first. Amen. Cloud Cavalry. Cloud Cavalry, and we will see you next year in Vegas. Amen, brother. Thank you, Neil.